Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm really talking to my young people in the back. Good afternoon, everybody. Yeah. So this is a little bittersweet for me, and uh, I'll talk a little bit more later, but uh, I may not get an opportunity to uh, thank the young people like I really want to, so I want to do so now and thank each and every one of you guys for, uh, for being here, and specifically to the adults in the equation who carved out the time to make sure that, that the young people from your schools uh, were here uh, to, take a part, to take part in the 25th uh, anniversary of uh, MLK's legacy. So thank you, and God bless every one of you. Thank you, Carrie. And so for the first uh, award, it uh, is with distinct honor that I present to you uh, this afternoon the 2016 Freedom Award. Uh, Hammond native Greg Easton grew up with a passion for the arts and education and is now principal at Morton Senior High School, the same school he graduated from in 1978. Prior to his current position, Greg taught music and theater in Hammond for 25 years. Um, I learned a lot from him. And I think that I got uh, my work ethic from Mr. Easton, watching him in action. Everything was done without reservation. And he, he's still that way now. <laughs> he works very long hours until everything is done right. And if it's not done right, it's not worth doing. From there, he went on to co-create the Hammond Academy for the Performing Arts, a magnet school housed within Morton Senior High School, where he served as director for three years. Under Easton's leadership as principal, Morton has seen great academic improvement, with graduation rates improving by nearly 25% and passing AP scores quadrupling. He is bringing everybody up, and he's lifting up the students and the teachers as well in their ability to learn more, to reach beyond, get out of your comfort zones, those kinds of things. That's what he's bringing to the table. And in addition to all that diversity, making us look at people differently and saying, okay, it's not, he's, this is not a problem student. This is a student with different issues and challenges. How can we help that student? This way, what he has been able to do in the last couple of years is bring it all together. So there's not that friction. And he's showing them how much he values the academic side as well as, you know, the performance side. And so I think it's been a really good mixture to have somebody who understands the arts but also values the education part as far as the core academics is concerned. Mr. Easton does this by fostering a positive relationship with the staff and most importantly students focusing on their needs in order to create a positive culture in a successful school. I think it all boils down to um, the, the relationship building and respect. Greg has respect for all people and so even when we're dealing in a in a very very difficult situations which do happen so because that respect is there because he has that respect and it's very evident in the way that he has you know he knows who they are he knows their parents he, he knows the the troubles they've had um the kids come to see him they seek him out they ask him for advice they ask him for help and he provides it and they don't always get the answers they want but they're always happy with the fact that they felt heard and they've been listened to and he supported them in their quest whether they got to, to what they wanted or not they love him they love him he is a wonderful combination of father figure and uh, educator they know that he will treat them with respect they know that they can talk to him about anything if there's an issue or problem that he will listen and, but he will do the best for the whole situation, not just side with kids or side with teachers. I think kids know that he's a safe place to land. Everything that he does in this building is, is for the kids, and as it should be. And he makes everybody, teachers and students included, feel important and feel supported and feel special. Without that relationship piece, not going to be successful. They, they are, so many of our students are waiting for someone else to tell them that they're worthless. They're, or, I, I need you to pick them up and let them know you believe in them and keep trying. Because here at Morton, yeah, you've got to be a great teacher, but you have to have a heart for it. You have to have a special heart, a heart for our kids. Yeah, that's our job. That's what we've got to do. We need, 
you know, we're here for them. If they, if, if the kids succeed, we succeed. When, when, when they are, are struggling, we're struggling. And when they fail, we fail. Please, please, please join me in giving a round of applause for this year's Freedom of War Award winner, Mr. Greg Easton. Presenting the 2016 Freedom Award to Greg Easton, along with ICRC Director Jamal Smith, is Governor Mike Pence and MLK Chairman Daryl Raglan. The Freedom Award is given annually to recognize local projects, programs, initiatives, or leaders that make significant contributions toward achieving the dream of Dr. King in the areas of economic development, poverty reduction, societal justice, and or peacemaking efforts. Past recipients for the award include the Civil Rights Heritage Center, Ivy Tech President Thomas Snyder, Arthur Carter, Richard Hatcher, Chanel Poole, and last year's winner, Min Man Tin. Let's give another round of applause to Greg Easton, the 2016 Freedom Award winner.